Polygons are here, unlocking a whole new level of control in your PCB designs. You can now shape copper exactly how you need it, whether you're handling high currents, building split planes, or dialing in thermal performance. This has been one of our most requested features, and it's finally here, with a smoother, easier UX than you'll find anywhere else. Let me show you how it works. To create a polygon, just right-click on a pad and choose Begin Polygon. You can also start from a trace or right-click a net in the object tree and choose Add Polygon. Once you're drawing, it works like a trace. Click to add corners and the shape will follow a 45 degree angles by default. Hold Shift to unlock free angle drawing. Want to switch layers? Just start a trace from the same net, press V to drop a via, and then begin routing another polygon on that other layer. After a polygon is created, double click on it or use the Edit Polygon button. You can delete a vertex by double clicking on it. To add one, just hover over the center of a straight segment until the ghosted vertex appears. Then click to drag it into place. You can also move the entire shape around and adjust which layers it's connected to by using the connected layer rules in the inspector. Quick note, if you're editing and the outline's getting in your way, toggle it off. You can also lock objects to make editing easier across your entire design. Polygons and Flux behave just like fills. They automatically avoid pads, traces, and vias and reflow when objects move. That includes ground stitching vias. If there's enough overlap, Flux will remove them. But if they're close and not enough overlap, the vias might nibble away at the polygon's edge. To keep performance smooth and routing clean, avoid overlapping polygons. Keep shapes compact and intentional. For now, we don't support SVG or DXF imports. With polygons and upgraded keepouts, you can now design significantly more advanced boards in Flux. Split planes, power nets, thermal control, signal isolation, it's all now possible, and it's easy to use. Jump in and start drawing your first polygon now.